I had a question about the um, luxury beliefs. I wonder if the people that hold on to these luxury beliefs, uh, you know, defund the police, um, open borders, you know, science is science, you know, the, the typical. <laughs> That's a luxury um, belief. I don't know. <laughs> so, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just lumping it all together yeah, with like yeah. those signs that yeah, put, yeah, you know, yeah. people I think put on their you, lawns. I think mm. even um, he might make a. Hen- uh, Rob Henderson might even have like a little note on that. Like those okay. are the people that's kind of like their mm-hmm. signs. Yeah. And, you know, like right. right yeah. people know. The virtual signal. Yeah. Signal. yeah. Um, but I wonder if those beliefs are a desire for heaven in a sense. Or like, you know, this, like, yeah, because like, yeah, defund the police sounds like a good idea. And like, we are all desiring a place where we don't have to have law enforcement, where everyone is actually perfected. Right. Um, yeah. And so, in a sense, like they're saying, I I want I want heaven on earth, you know, um, but of course we're, we don't live in heaven mm-hmm. <laughs> right now, and yeah. so it goes back to the idea that like we actually have to work towards the ideal, and mm-hmm. there's compromises that have to be made mm-hmm. to get to that ideal. But I feel like there's a sense of what they're really crying out, and this is a very generous interpretation. I realize that, but uh, on some level, I think it's it holds true. They're like I this world is not enough like this is, and it's yeah. broken. This world is broken and I just want to escape it in a right. sense. I mean, it's um, super complicated uh, when you try to like pierce the mind and see what's really going on in terms of their motives, um, like sure. how they were raised and, and what their influences are and such. But um, yeah, it's definitely, you know, you could see the utopian vision as like uh, trying to bring heaven on earth on your terms. Yeah. Um, or like a, kind of a Marxist resentment thing. So it it kind of goes both ways, but like the generous um, interpretation would be that like there is a yearning, a yearning for the good. um, And it is a a real recognition that things are broken. Yeah. But nonetheless, you're still trying to create reality on your terms. Yeah. Right. Um, Right. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like the archetypal motif of like returned Eden, like establishing Eden for sure back on earth. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Which speaks to like um, a desire for the transcendent. Uh, almost like a, a proof yeah. for the transcendent. It's like, right. why does humanity, like, why why is this world like not like uh, enough for you, like yeah. the way it is, right? Mm-hmm. Um, like, and we all realize that we're broken on some level, um, yeah. And that humanity is not, or society is not really what it ought to be, right? And um, there's no such thing as a perfect utopia. Um, and that I mean, that really is like back to the cross of being like, this is the primordial pattern, like this is the way, yeah. Like this is what Christ came to reveal was that the way back to Eden is through the cross. Yeah. Period. You know, like you have to recognize that the world is broken. You take that on yourself. You empty yourself out. Yeah. And then, and then redemption happens. Right. Um, I don't know if you've got, I, I pulled it up just to make sure it was right. Um, have you seen the United Nations picture? The like painting they have on the back wall? No. It's an interesting, it's very... Can you put that in the notes so I can see it? Yeah, let me let me see if I can. It's like a blurry image, um, <laughs> but it's um, it's interesting because it's very religious. Yeah, I thought but those it, were images of a church at first. But it, <laughs> if you note, but there's no God. Mm. But there's all these like quasi, like reden- redemptive figures. Figures, mm. and there's like a Garden of Eden imagery. Um, there's, they even have the pelican. Oh, wow. And the pelican is, yeah. you know, a classic, Eucharistic. A Eucharistic. Yeah. But there's no, there's no God. Hmm. It's just all man lifting up other men. Hmm. Right. And establishing like world peace. That's really interesting. And yeah, it, it's, it, it does. It, it has like all the, all the right, like I said, religious motifs there. I'm trying to like zoom in to see. You know, yeah, in the middle there. Oh, wow. In the middle, it's very, it's kind of odd because you Is have, it this uh, United Nations Security Council mural? Uh, maybe. I just put UN painting oh. wall. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all the, all the correct, you know, uh, yeah. uh, SEO, you know, yeah. words. Um, yeah, yeah, that's what, so that's what I'm talking about. You you have in the center image a man and a woman looks like kind of like husband and wife and then they're flanked by children and there's a child underneath yeah. of them but then there's a tree over top of them and in the tree is a child handing an apple to a woman to a little girl rather yeah 
And I'm like, what? What does that mean? What is that? That's so crazy. Is that a uh, allusion to, like, this, uh, Eve receiving, it, it getting seemed, the apple? Well, that's, just, that's it. It's like, is this supposed to be Adam and Eve? And isn't that a bad thing? And it's like, well, are they trying to flip that? Yeah, and they're wild. trying to reverse it and say, oh, no, no, but with, with redeemed humanity, kind of in, in like a secular humanist fashion, hmm. this is a good thing. But it, it's, it, to me, all this smacks of yeah, we wow. can create heaven on earth. Well, if we just get, yeah, yeah. Ev- if we just get everybody to um, stop killing each other, basically, if we get everyone to stop right. being human. We can, we can, we can do <laughs> yeah. it. Like, yeah. no, right. stop, stop giving into your human nature. Well, and, yeah. I, and, and I think it's very interesting, very telling that uh, at the center is a man and a wife. They're almost there. Like, you know, you could say the family is like the, the, the foundational stone sure. for mm-hmm. humanity. But mm-hmm. if you look at any other classical mural in churches, what's at the center is Christ. You know, you look at the yeah. Last Judgment, you look at the, you know, Disputation of the Eucharist. Yeah, I was going to say um, that one is like, like, you know, all these opposite. murals. Uh, or these frescoes, uh, not necessarily in the churches, but like all these paintings, um, classically speaking, when it's re- trying to represent humanity or the world, the Christian idea is that God is in, th- in the center. Well, right. Yeah. Um, it, it, but in the kind of, yeah, it, right, yeah, here it's like, so you have the family as the center, which is important, but it's still man, but underneath that you have the pelican, then it looks like you have like a, like the pelican is... Um, redeemed like it has like a body like a pelican oh, body yeah. and then underneath that is like uh, a tomb with a skeleton in it wow and then geez. off to the side you have a man lifting up another man out of kind of like hades out of like this underworld so but is it's that like, supposed to be the god imagery there i guess uh, well uh, uh, yeah uh, you know what perhaps being charitable yes <laughs> this is a super catholic image this is yeah. you know <laughs> that that's the because it does have like this resurrection a, over yeah. death motif but, you know, and I guess you could mm. say, you know, um, there is in the Psalms, God is in the heavens, but earth he is left to men. Yeah. So there's this sort of, you know, I'm here, but you also need to do your part. Yeah. So I guess that's a charitable way you could say. Yeah. So, you know what? I do you, wonder, though. You got to help even, each other out. Yeah. Even, the, even the two-dimensional aspect of it, like, which thing is above which? You know, the pelican is below. Well, that's the, the yeah, I, that, and, that popped into yeah. my mind too. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's um, it's a weird, it's a weird painting. I'll have to think about that one a little bit yeah. more. Yeah, I'm um, sorry. It just like came, it just like came to yeah. my mind, yeah. and now I kind of regret it cause, in some sense because it's like <laughs> I wish we had more time. There's to actually, lots to like, unpack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Th- we can come back to it. Yeah, yeah. But no, that is super interesting though. It does tie into the the like the humanism idea that we can just kind of build read. a better society by ourselves. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, uh, underneath all of this, you know, humanism and, you know, lifting each other up is still, like, if you dig deep and you keep digging is, says who? Right. Well, yeah, right. You, you, right. Know, you know what I mean? It's like, well, we know mm-hmm. we should lift up, you know, each other. And it's like, but by what standard? Mm-hmm. And who says we should do that? Yeah, exactly. Like, is it is it obviously a good that we yeah. create a world of, you know, utter peace? But, but to what end? And, and why why do you think peace is inherently good why not war yeah. this is Nietzsche's right. thing is you know why do you value truth why not untruth mm-hmm. you know why do you why do you value peace and not war life right. over death right I mean, life yeah. over death you know it's you know yep to you know to us who have been so ingrained in christianity it's like well obviously peace is better it's like, but yeah that, but that's again you're resting yeah. on metaphysical grounds yeah, yeah, for yeah. that like yeah 